the bell icon to turn on notifications. Before you start working with data, it's very important that you have a look at the data and make sure that it's sensible. If you look at this data set, we do have several fields such as the last name, first name, email, start date, age, department ID, and salary. But if you look closely at the data, you will see quite a few abnormalities. For example, the last name is in lowercase, the first name is in uppercase. There are some strange spaces after the email address and even before the email address. And then the salary field has the numerical value and then it also specifies that it's in dollars. So this kind of data, for example, where you have numbers and alphabets within one cell is not very easy to process. So in every cell, ideally have one kind of data. It should either be a number or an alphabet, especially when you look at numerical fields like salary, age, and so on. So how do we go about cleaning this data? First of all, I would like to introduce you to a tool called Find and Replace in Excel. There is a keyboard shortcut for that tool. You just need to hit Control F on your keyboard, and you get this pop-up box. So for example, let's start by cleaning up column H which is the salary field. We want to find dollars, but if you look closely at the data, there is a numerical value, then there is a space, and then dollars. So we need to get rid of the space in between the numerical value and the dollars as well. So if we find space, and you spell out dollars, exactly the way it's written in the cell, and then you press the replace button here, and you replace it with nothing, just leave it empty. And you hit replace all. Excel notifies us and says it's all done. We made 53 replacements. Okay, great, that was quick. So the salary field now looks good. We have numerical values and this data will be easier to process. Now, if we have a look at the name, the last name and the first name, we can use some pretty handy Excel formulas to clean this data up rather quickly. So for the last name, let me just work on a new column and I'll call that last name updated. Let me just expand the column width. And then over here, as the last name is all in lowercase, I can update this column and make this all in uppercase, just like the first name is. The first name is all in uppercase. The last name can all be in uppercase and then the data will be consistent. So let me just type a formula here equals upper left parenthesis, select the cell, right parenthesis, enter. And you just drag the formula down. And just like that, the last name has also been updated and it's all in uppercase. Or what we can also do rather quickly is if we use another Excel formula, which ensures that the first letter is in uppercase and the rest of the letters are in lowercase. And that formula is called proper. So if I just type in equals proper, left parenthesis, I just click first cell, which is A4, right parenthesis, enter, Andrews, and then I just drag the formula down. So this column, we can call this last name proper. Similarly, we can update the first name using the proper formula as well. So let's just see how that works. We use the same logic, equals proper, left parenthesis, click on the cell B4, right parenthesis, enter, and it's John. You drag the formula down, and that's it. So we have very quickly updated the last name and the first name fields as well. Let's look at how we can clean up the email field. So if we look closely, there are some spaces before and after the email address. We can use the find and replace function here as well. So let's use this column L to update the emails. So what I'll do first is I'll select 
all the cells within this column that need to be updated. And then I'll hit the Control F key. I just want to find the space and I want to replace it with nothing. Just keep it blank. I'll hit the Replace All key. And there we go. 530 replacements have been made. Now, there is another way you can clean up the emails rather than just using the find and replace functionality. So if I just hit undo, go back, all right, we have the spaces again. And I can use a formula called trim. So you'd start by typing equal, then trim, T R I M, left parenthesis, select the, the cell you want to trim, right parenthesis, enter. And now the formula has been updated. As you can clearly see, there are no spaces in this email address. I don't want this to be bold, so let me just hit this button. So now we have the email address, and I just drag the formula down, and all the formulas are also updated, and there are no spaces in this email address anymore. But the email addresses usually, they are all in lowercase, but over here, in the email address, we see that the first letter is uppercase, then it's lowercase, and in the last name you have uppercase and then lowercase. So how can we make the entire email address in lowercase? We have a very similar formula in order to make all characters in lowercase. So let me use another column over here. I'll just call it email lower. The formula is very simple. Equal, lower, left parenthesis, you select the cell, right parenthesis, enter. And now the entire email address is in lowercase. Let's drag the formula down. And there we go. Showing you the various formulas and techniques that can be used to clean the data. Once you are satisfied with the results that you want, you can delete the columns that you don't need, such as the last name and the first name over here. Cleaning data is often misunderstood and underestimated using the find and replace functionality or the trim, upper, lower, or proper formulas that we have in Excel makes your work a lot easier. This also enables you to process data far more efficiently and effectively. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.